News, a Florida sheriff has released body cam footage of the events that led to the death of a U.S. Air Force senior airman, Roger Fortson, who was shot and killed in his own apartment by a deputy last week. National correspondent Dan Grossman has more. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Department in Florida released body camera footage Thursday, nearly a week after a sheriff's deputy shot and killed 23-year-old active duty airman Roger Fortson. The family's attorney, Ben Crump, said at a press conference Thursday, before the body camera video's release, the deputy barged into the wrong apartment. Body camera video shows a neighbor who did not call 911 discussing which apartment with the deputy. He's saying that it happens frequently, okay. but this kind of sounded like it was getting out of hand. Okay, which door? Um, okay. well, I'm not sure. Two weeks ago, I was walking by, like, by their apartment, basically, mm -hmm. on this side, and I was hearing someone yell, like, shut the f*** up, like, you stupid B-word and all that stuff, and I heard a slap, like, right after it, but I wasn't sure where it came from, okay. and I couldn't call, like, I didn't want to call the police, and, like, you know. Which room is it? 1401. The deputy then goes to the apartment and knocks. Crump said earlier Fortson was on a FaceTime call with his girlfriend. Crump questioned whether the officer blocked the peephole so Fortson couldn't see. Body camera footage shows him stepping out of view of the door. He then knocks again, announcing himself, and steps back into the hallway. He knocks a third time. That's when Fortson opens the door. His hand appears to be raised in a stop motion and is almost immediately shot. Crump said Fortson had a legally owned gun on him, but it wasn't drawn when he opened the door. Fortson was shot six times. Dan Grossman, Scripps News. Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump, who is representing the family, joined Scripps News last night. He says the deputy didn't give Fortson a chance to comply to orders to step back and just started shooting. In a split second, the deputy doesn't say drop the weapon, doesn't say put your hands up. He tells him to step back. And that's exactly what Roger, this decorated United States airman does. He follows authority. He uh, respects law enforcement. He steps back, Marissa, and immediately, immediately, he unloads on him. Crum went on to say Fortune was even compliant as he laid on the ground dying listening to the officer's command to toss the gun.